guys, well here I am at the Acropolis. It's amazing, you gotta watch the slippery rocks. Here we are in Athens, Greece, on a beautiful day. A new adventure awaits. If you haven't checked my other Athens or Greece videos, please check those out. Lots of sites and archeological places I visited, so enjoy that. Wow, really getting hot. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is great. Looks pretty good. We got the kitchen. There's a restroom over there. And what could be through here? Of course balcony. wandering through the park. It's such a beautiful day and I found myself in the streets of Plaka right by my old uh, juice shop here. It's like a spa, spa smoothie shop but I love it. And I came back so no Bajia, don't forget in Plaka. It's gotta stop here. It's so good. Today I got like a marathon runner uh, drink. It's like that pear and orange and uh, yeah tons of citrus and fruit and good stuff for me. So yeah what do we got? The marathon runner. Apple, pineapple, pear, carrot, orange. Yeah, it'll hold me through the day, a little bit, because I got a lot of walking to do. Check it out, Novichia, Plaka. Last time I was in Athens, I met Hector, who's actually working right there. He's busy working right now. But he just showed me his new spot. This is a speakeasy, and actually the bar upstairs, CB Distillery, is really beautiful. It's very close to Kolonaki, so you get like some upscale, upscale clientele here. And we're gonna go like, celebrate. We'll go clubbing tonight, so Cosmo, so I just quickly changed. I think here's my Uber coming, so time to get the show on the road. I always have the best time with my drivers. They have the best music. Here we are, going to the club. About last night, okay? Well, Sunday mornings after the club, I like to do my Hollywood Hills hike, you know what I mean? I'm going up to Laika Batus, so the mountain up here, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna climb up there, get my views of the Acropolis, call it a good morning.
resist, had to come back. Cheers. This time it's the detox hooray, which apparently I think I need. I'm so lucky to find myself back in Athens. One of my followers asked me, you know, why did you go back to a place you've already been? But the truth is, there's so much to see here, and uh, I need to see it. Just wandering the streets of Plaka, Monastaraki, city, I am starting to really understand and learn the city. I might even be able to show friends, you know, like all my favorite spots. And I just think there's a, it's a nice sized city, you know, it's not too big. There's actual sense of community. When I go to my restaurants, I know the, the people there, <laughs> they say hello, they give me coffee and, and dessert. It's really funny. It's just very um, wholesome. And of course you got the good music, lots of good energy, good weather. So yeah, that's why I came back. Too much good stuff that I like. The history. I don't know, let's keep adding on. Probably shouldn't talk about the women. Sorry that Poutine and I were talking about, about the Odeon and the Dionysus Theater. So over to you, let's 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 talk. Okay, so all um, monuments of antiquity uh, had a meaning like uh, all pottery or statues has had a meaning. So in the center of the theater, we have the so-called Fimeli, which was the altar of Dionysus. There was a fire burning there, and that was the center of attention of the whole play, in a way. Why? Because it symbolized the divine center that we all have inside us, that connects us to the higher observer, as we call it today, it. to the divinity. And this part was not supposed to interfere in the play in antiquity. You couldn't step on it, you couldn't uh, make it play a part in the play, you couldn't use it in any way. It was just there to remind the spectators that no matter how hard and how difficult the drama of life is unwinding, we are connected to the divine. This is just a point that connects us to the divinity from where everything will be okay at the end. And the same thing um, is the function of theatre in the ancient Greek world. The theatre was a means of educating the greater public. Uh, they were not using it uh, like we use it for um, entertainment. It, it was, was therapy. Not, it was therapy. It was group therapy. That's so incredible. So the people inside the theatre, uh, they were watching and identifying with the hero. And at the end of the play, there was the catharsis in the tragedy, where the guards would intervene and solve the issue for the people. So, do sex machina? So, yeah, Deus Ex Machina is actually a real machine that was invented for yeah. theatre. And the function was that it was suspending the actor over uh, the, the scene. And he was playing the god that would appear oh suddenly god. and he solved the problem. Solved. Oh my gosh, what a treat to talk to Fotini. That was incredible. <sighs> Let's go see it. Wow, so here we are. Do you guys remember when we were in Heropolis? I think Heropolis might actually have been a bigger amphitheater. So that's crazy. So Fotini really gave us the great story. Let's try to see what we can see. Do you, can you see the Deus Ex Machina coming down? Since I'm already here at the Acropolis, may as well just go in.
Just still can't believe I'm here. What a pleasure. I just wanted to point out that the hike I took the other day was Lake Hospitos, which you see right there. So we were looking at the Acropolis. So I highly recommend that hike. And on this side, of course, we have the Temple of Athena. As you can't actually see the old Temple of Athena. But behind those statues is Erechtheon and uh, Pandoros Oxion. And this is a kind of sanctuary. And I think if I remember correctly, isn't there a Zeus and Athena have a fight? All right, well, that was really a treat. Well, now it's time to head back down. I can go to the north side, or the south slope. Should I go to Plaka or Monastiraki? I don't know, let's find out. Be a little bit different from the last trip. If you saw that other video, you saw I was really enjoying, got into a flow state. Well, this time I actually want to maybe take a step back, try to find some low energy and um, more peaceful period and uh, reflect a little bit. As I mentioned, you know, mental health is so important. So we had already seen the Delos. So if you guys want to check out the Delos tour, make sure you uh, check out that other video um, and also wandering around me. So yeah, let's see how this trip goes. Let's see if I get tempted by the party. So, hope you guys can make it. Well, here I am back at the windmills, and to be honest, I, I thought for sure today they would be moving. I mean, there's a little wind, come on. They're really not moving.
within minutes of just like walking around, I find this party. And uh, so I just left for, for a minute to get my final hero, some traditional food, and then, you know, get my walk around the city one last time before I head out. So I just want to say thank you guys all for the support. Hope you guys enjoy this trip. Make sure you guys get some chance to visit Athens and Mykonos and the other islands. It's really an amazing experience. Learn some Greek if you can. Ekaristo, at least. All right, until next time, like, subscribe, follow. Really appreciate all the support, guys. Cheers.